Operators warn the wind speeds could reach up to 150 kilometers per hour tomorrow when the cyclone makes landfall. It's expected at about 3 p.m. tomorrow, Bipur Joy will hit the Gujarat coast. And that's why all preparations are underway. The central government, state government have all put their focus on ensuring that the casualty count can be kept to a minimum. Over 30,000 people have been evacuated so far, particularly from the coastal regions, which is why you see in all of these coastal parts, it wears a completely deserted look. NDRF, SDRF teams, all of them have been deployed along with additional teams being put on standby. Let's round up for you all the updates or the preparations underway for Cyclone Bipur Joy. Towering waves, howling winds, boats anchored tightly in harbors. Residents seek refuge from the brewing tempest. Coastal Gujarat feels Bipur Joy's punch, a day before the powerful cyclone strikes. Tomorrow onwards, perhaps there will be also power line disrupted near the coastal line to avoid any further potential damage. But for now, at the, what I see here at Mandavi port, the last effort by the local the fishermen is being done to save their lifelong assets. This will be only and one and only source of income for these fishermen community. So, of course, uh, we are just they all are praying for uh, you know passage of this cyclone as soon as possible. But yes, there is apprehension, there is concern, and of course, they are scared. Once bustling fishing jetties are now deserted. Forceful gusts have bent trees, sent thatched roofs soared through the air. Emergency crews supplying essentials and carrying out urgent evacuations from the path of the storm. At least 45,000 people moved to safer locations so far. गुजरात में 15 तारीख को तकरीबन शाम के समय इस साइक्लोन का लैंडफॉल होने वाला है इसके मद्देनजर एनडीआरएफ की 18 टीमों की तैनाती की गई है और एसडीआरएफ की भी 13 टीम वहां पर मौजूद हैं वहां पर मैसिव क्वेश्चन किया गया है तकरीबन 45000 से ज्यादा लोग सुरक्षित स्थान पर पहुंचाए गए हैं like a benevolent fortress, a border outpost of the BSF in Kutch has swung open its gates, offering sanctuary to the weary souls from the impending fury of Bipur Joy. These are all fishermen who are living here, who are living here, who are living here, but now they are living here, and they are living here, because somewhere they are living here, they are living here, कि साइक्लोन जो है वो सबसे ज्यादा इसी इलाके को प्रभावित करेगा आप बताइए कितना डर लग रहा है क्योंकि आप तो फिशरमैन है तरवैया है और हमेशा समुंदर के साथ रहते हैं आप लोग वो बहुत डर लगा है मैं बच्चे बच्चे के साथ हमारे लेडीज बच्चे सब है इसलिए हम बहुत डरे हुए आप बताइए समुंदर को इस तरीके ऐसी आपने पहले उफान आरोप देखा था नहीं सर अभी नहीं देखा है अभी देखना पड़ रहा है ये सब बच्चे के लेडीज को डर है हमको तरवरिया है a well-defined swirling mass over the Arabian Sea, Bipur Joy, expected to make landfall between Mandvi in Gujarat and Karachi in southern Pakistan by Thursday evening. Seven people have died so far, four of them in Mumbai and three in Gujarat. The deaths attributed to accidents stemming from extreme weather conditions. The NDRF teams have fanned across parts of Gujarat, Karnataka, Mumbai, Daman and Diu. Packing sustained wind speeds between 125 and 135 kilometers per hour, which may gust up to 150. The potential for significant damage from Bipur Joy remains high. Bureau Report, India Today.